body. We are going to see today connective tissue. What is connective tissue? It consists of connective tissue cells embedded in a matrix of fibers and ground substance. So the connective tissue is made up of connective tissue cells, fibers of connective tissue and the ground substance. General features. It is derived from mesoderm. It is highly rich in blood supply except for cartilage and tendon. It has a rich nerve supply except for cartilage. Cells of connective tissue. The cells of connective tissue are macrophage, mast cell, plasma cell, pigment cell, mesenchymal cell and leukocyte. What is macrophage? It is a large cell which has the property of phagocytosis. It is of two types, tissue macrophage and free macrophage or free histiocytes. Tissue macrophage, it is fixed in an organ. So example, Cooper cells of liver, alveoli of lungs, spleen and bone marrow. It is present in these organs. Whereas free histiocytes are monocytes and neutrophils. Mast cell. It is a small round or oval shaped cell which secretes heparin anticoagulant. During allergic reactions or abnormal conditions in the body, that is during allergic reactions, it produces serotonin and histamine. Plasma cell. It is one of the type of B lymphocyte. It produces antibodies called immunoglobulins. Mesenchymal cell. It is a, one of the layers of cells present in the trilaminar germ disk of embryo. There are three layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. So mesoderm, that is the mesenchymal cells. So it is one of the layers present in the trilaminar germ disk of the embryo. Pigment cell. In this, the cells contains pigment in the cytoplasm. So the melanin pigment. Example, skin, choroid and iris of the eyeball. Leukocyte, it is a large nucleated and colorless cell present in the blood. It plays a vital role in the defense mechanism of the body. Fibers of connective tissue. <coughs> there are three types of fibers, collagen, reticula and elastic fibers. The collagen fibers are of two types, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 fibers are seen in tendon, the end of the muscles, which is in rigid cord like structure. Tendons, aponeurosis, that is a flat tendon connecting the abdominal muscles, and fascia. fascia. Type 2 fibers are seen in articular cartilage. Reticular fibers. Okay, it is present in spleen, lymph node, kidney, bone marrow. Elastic fibers, these fibers are present in large blood vessels. For example, iota, superior and inferior cava, pulmonary trunk. So it is present in large arteries. The cells uh, fibers will be asked in two or three marks questions. Bone. What is bone? Bone is a special type of connective tissue which is made up of osteocytes. 
we have seen in the cartilage chondrocytes. Chondro means cartilage, site means cell, like that. Osteo means bone, site means cells. So it is a special type of connective tissue present in our body which is made up of osteocytes. Gentle features. It is derived from mesoderm. It is derived from mesoderm. It has rich blood supply and nerve supply. The bone cells are known as osteocytes. Immature bone cells are known as osteoblast. The bones are lined by the bone outer surface of the bone is lined by a fibrous tissue known as periosteum. Periosteum. It contains most are important okay, minerals, organic and inorganic minerals and substances like calcium, phosphorus, magnesium and iron. Functions of the bone. What are the main functions of the bone? It gives protection for important organs like brain, heart and lungs. It is forming the framework of the body. It gives attachment for muscles, tendons and ligaments. It is an important storage center for calcium. It is an important hemopoietic center, hemo blood, poietic production, so production of blood cells. One of the important function of bone is, okay, it has two main properties. One is tenacity, power to withstand stress and strain. And the other one is resilience, flexibility or come back to normal after strain. So this is the, about the general features of the bone. Okay. Classification of bones. Bones may be classified according to number one morphology as long bone, short bone, flat bone and irregular bone. For example, long bones, bones of upper and lower limb, humerus, radius, ulna, femur, tibia, fibula. Short bones, carpal bones, phalanges, these are the example for short bones. Flat bones, bones of the skull, frontal, parietal, occipital. These are the example for flat bones. Irregular bones, vertebra, hip bone or innominate bone, scapula. So according to morphology, or dividing the bones into okay, long bone, short bone, flat bone, and irregular bone. According to structure. So if you cut the bone and see, you can see two types of bone. One is very closely arranged thick and compact bone and another is spongy four leg structures so according to structure it is divided into cancellous or spongy bone and the compact bone according to development that is ossification it is divided into okay membranous bone and cartilaginous bone according to ossification or development the bones are divided into membranous bone and cartilaginous bone membranous bone example the bones which are flat for example skull bone frontal parietal temporal occipital or see these are the bones okay arising from this okay so that is the membranous ossification cartilaginous ossification especially the long bones will develop by cartilaginous ossification there is another type known as membrano cartilaginous ossification these type of bones Develop both by membranous as well as cartilaginous ossification. For example, occipital bone, clavicle, mandible, okay, mandible, occipital bone, temporal bone, and sphenoid bone. <coughs> Structure of bone or histology of the bone. If you take a piece of bone, keep it in a microscope and observe the structure, you can see it will be appearing like this. So the structure of bone, first point, it consists of a central canal known as Haversian canal. Central canal known as Haversian canal. 
surrounding the second point, surrounding the Havershim canal, there are a variable number of plates. Surrounding the central canal, there are variable number of plates arranged in concentric manner. Circular, concentric means circular. Okay, concentric manner. They are known as lamellae. Lamella is singular, lamellae is plural. So the concentric Okay, the round structure is known as lamella or plate. The lamellae are produced by osteoblast, that is the bone forming cells. The lamella or the lamellae are produced by osteoblast, okay, which later gets trapped between the lamellae and becomes osteocytes and becomes osteocytes. The osteocytes are present in a space. The osteocytes are present in a space. Inside, see, that's a dot. That means the cell is there inside a space. The osteocytes are present inside a space known as lacunae. Lacunae is plural. Lacuna is singular. Lacuna. Okay. The lacunae are connected to each other by canaliculi. The lacunae are connected to one lacunae is connected to another lacunae by canaliculi. These are the life lines of the bone because it is through which the nutrition is going or taking place. And central canal of one 